What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at another MLP Horror AU. This one was heavily requested by quite a few people. So I'm going to be looking at it. It's called the Black Tree Disease. Now I do not know what to expect from this because I believe I only liked this one here because I was looking for it and I eventually came across it. But we're going to see if I liked any others because I don't remember anything else. But we're going to start off here. So this is the uh, a virus spreading information thing, right? We're going to try to keep the music on as long as I know it's not going to fuck up my video or anything like that. We are going to be okay, Spike. Rainbow Dash is healthy. She's looking for Scootaloo. What did Twilight do? Where is Everypony? So she has a bunch of medical equipment and she has a bat. She's quite sane. Health is 100%. Strength is 97%. So she's pretty strong. Stress is 17%. So I'm going to consider that like stress is low, right? So that would mean she's not very stressed, obviously, but somebody told me something in one of my comments that made me look at it differently. So I'm saying exactly how I look at these. Hunger and thirst is also quite low and she doesn't appear to have any food or anything with her. So I'm assuming that she's not very hungry or thirsty at the moment. So that's how I'm going to go off of that. Applejack. It seems she has a bag. She has medical masks. She has an axe or a tomahawk. Or I'm not sure, but I think it's an axe. And she has some bandage wrap. She's also pretty healthy. She has pretty high sanity. Her health is 100%. She has a ripped hat. She's looking for apple bloom. She's quite strong and she's pretty good in the stress and hunger and thirst department. Rarity, unfortunately, is at the early stage infection. Now, let me take a look here at what we got. She has a damaged ear. It looks like little worms coming out of her face. Either that or they're like twigs or branches because it's called the black tree disease, right? Her sanity is uh, depleting. Her health is still quite high though, so she appears to be okay for now. Her strength is 77%, so she's pretty good on that. Stress is quite high though. It's getting there. She is a little hungry and a little thirsty and the infection rate is 24%. She has a bunch of makeup and shit and she has a knife. It looks like a pocket knife or something. So she might be okay, but for now. So it's, that's why she's saying, I swear I'm okay. Pinkie Pie is missing. There's no information on Pinky. Fluttershy, God damn. That's depressing to look at, honestly. That's really sad. I guess this is one of the ones where Fluttershy has to go. A lot of people in my comment section are going, are going to be very upset. But hey, it happens. It happens. Fluttershy is at the second stage infection. All you can hear is crack noises. Her sanity is 18%, so she's not very sane. Her health is low. Her strength is quite high. Her stress is quite high. And she's in the middle when it comes to hunger and thirst. And she's infected no one so far. So she's okay, but not okay. Basically, she's okay because she hasn't infected anyone, but she's infected, so she's clearly not okay. Somehow worse. Of course, it's always worse. And it's always Twilight, too, I've noticed. Basically, Twilight Sparkle is in the third stage of the infection. All I can hear are cracks. She's infected Spike and Rarity. Sanity is quite low. Health is quite low. Strength is quite high. Stress is also very high. And the hunger and thirst are once again in the middle. Now let's take a look at this design here. It looks like her wing, right, was ripped off. She, this is, I don't know how to describe all this. I don't know how to describe that. Her pupils, her eyes... They're all black, except she has like a little human-like eye within there. And these look like, I don't know what the hell this is. Spike is dead. Death by final stage. She promised we were going to be okay. Clearly she lied, but that's okay. Now we got part two. What did Twilight do? Sunset Shimmer is quite healthy. She's curious what happened to Ponyville Twilight. She has messy hair. Uh, she has a machete, she has a little, like, paintbrush, and she has a medical bag. She's looking pretty alright, though. So, I think she'll be okay. Starlight Glimmer is losing sanity, her eyes are itching, and she's worried about Trixie. She's also looking pretty okay at the moment when it comes to her health, but her stress is getting a little bit up there, but at least she has water, so she's not too thirsty. She has some bandages, she has some books, and she has a butterfly knife. Okay. 
Trixie is possibly infected, but it says it's currently unknown by the question mark, so it's not known. She just wants to go home. But she's also quite mentally unstable. It looks as if um, her sanity is getting quite low. Her health is a, its still okay, like it's tolerable for now. Her strength is getting a little lower. Her stress is quite high. And her hunger and thirst are tolerable at best. And it looks like she has a bunch of medication on her. It looks like she has a syringe and a butterfly knife as well. Nurse Redheart is healthy. She is trying to find a cure as she does in almost every single MLP horror AU that I've seen with her in it so far. So she's kind of like the little hero here. But she seems to be okay. Stress is low. Strength is high. Health and sanity is high. She's good. She has a medical bag and she has um, utensils for surgery, I assume. Damn, Lyra, what the fuck? What is that infection? I don't know how to describe all that. Like, her mouth is, like, ripped open and it looks like little twigs are popping out of it. And there's, like, blood all over it. Oh, my God. That is insane. Lyra Heartstrings is in the second stage of infection. It looks like she's also infected DJ Pond 3 and Derpy as well. Sanity is getting quite low. It's about under halfway, or almost halfway. Health is 76%. Strength is 67, and she's getting a little hungry, but her thirst is tolerable. But clearly she's not safe to be around because she infected DJ Pond 3 and Derpy. Part 3. Oh boy. Where are we? Where's Scootaloo? Looks like they're both bleeding here. Or maybe not Apple Bloom, but Sweetie Belle has a little bit of uh, blood up here. I think that's blood. I'm not sure. Apple Bloom is currently injured. So she has little marks on her face there. They want to find shelter and I'll be here for you, Belle. There's cuts on her face and bruises. Uh, she's injured, but she overall appears to be okay, but she has low strength. She has a flashlight. She has an apple. I think those are like, I think that's a jump rope, but I'm not sure. And there's a medical bag. So she looks like she's all good and go. She's all set. Sweetie Belle is also quite healthy, healthy but she's she misses Rarity and wears Scootaloo. She has a picture of her and Rarity. She has a little bag, a little satchel, and she has a kitchen knife. She also looks like she's quite okay, but her strength is also quite low as well. Sweetie Drops, Bonbon, bon, is mentally unstable. Due to the fact that Lyra was infected, I can see exactly why she's mentally unstable. She wants to find Lyra, leave me alone. All I want is her, bloodshot eyes from crying and wounds from escaping Lyra. So wouldn't that mean she's infected because she got a mark from Lyra while Lyra's currently infected? Yikes. Her sanity is quite low though. Her strength and health seem to be okay. Everything else seems to be quite tolerable, but her sanity is quite low. God damn! Oh my god. What a design. Totally not disturbing, though. She's on the fifth stage of, of infection. Sprouts phase. She has no sanity, basically, no health. Strength is extremely low. Her stress, hunger, and thirst are extremely high. Roots connecting to the ground. So she's like becoming a tree almost. So Scootaloo's fucked. I should have read the first comment. I was not ready for Scootaloo. Should have read that. Where do you think Twilight is? <laughs> Gone. Okay, so this is the black tree disease. Let's read this. Let's get some info here. The black tree disease. One, what is the black tree disease? How does it infect ponies? What symptoms does it have? And how do I avoid the infects? Written by Princess Luna and Celestia. So the black tree disease, also known as black root, is a virus which is spreading through sprouts and plants. The sprouts were the first one to encounter. The plants were later on infected. The sprouts are glowing small white particles floating around the air. Sprouts are the little white particles there. And that's the infected plant leaf. Okay. So it spreads by a plant. The cause of the virus is unknown. Most ponies think it was Twilight who caused the virus to spread, but she, but yet she is not guilty. Why does it called the black tree disease? It's known for the fifth and final stage, infected ponies. It looks like the roots transform into the ponies into a tree and 
which will stay conscious for 10 to 20 weeks until finally dying. Holy shit! So they're just stuck in the form of a disturbing fucking tree until they're dead. My god. The infected ponies, once they inhaled the particles or touched the infected plants. Once the particles got inhaled, they attack the lungs first and go through the esophagus and form roots in the mouth. Once they've reached the lungs, they spread out the nose and move into the mouth which it begins to rot from the outside. The mouth rotted in second stage and spreads in the stomach and eye sockets, eating everything in the insides until all organs are completely rotten and covered in roots. Once the roots finished attacking the lungs and stomach, they spread through the meat and flesh to reach the legs to spread through the skin to the outside, and that's what makes them stick to the ground like a tree. Okay. Once they reached the fifth to final stage, the roots grow into the ground from the legs and cover the whole pony into black roots. The neck gets ripped apart as the roots grow out of their body. Her body and immune system were too weak to handle the infection, that's why she got infected so quickly. Scootaloo found 20 miles away from Equestria. And those are all the particles around her too. Early stage symptoms to stage one. Heavy cough, trouble breathing, nosebleed, roots eating the skin near stage one, and loss of sight, so they become like blind. Second stage symptoms. Loss of sanity, going blind, joint and muscle pain, extreme headache, loss of consciousness, extreme hunger, cannibalistic behavior. The third stage symptoms, extreme aggression, vocal cord problems, bones breaking and cracking. That explains the whole crack crack thing with Fluttershy and Twilight and loss of hearing. So they become like deaf too. Jesus. There's more. Four stage symptoms, extreme good sense of hearing. What? How do you go from deaf to perfect hearing? I don't know. That's pretty wild to me. Sanity is completely gone, roots eating the insides, extreme neck pain, and extreme leg pain. The fifth stage symptoms are roots growing into the ground, neck gets ripped apart, extreme body pain, blood loss, consciousness completely gone, bones cracking, and loss of memories. And the final stage is the pony dies. So basically, Scootaloo isn't really suffering anymore, because like it said, her consciousness is completely gone. So sh her corpse is just kind of there just suffering until it eventually just stops. That's wild to me. To avoid the disease is wear masks and gloves for not inhaling the particles or touch any infected plants. Avoid any pony who shows early stage symptoms. If infected, amputate or cut the part off immediately. Keep any weapons with you. Seek shelter. Never make any noise. You can hide from them, but don't make too much noise. So it's kind of like that one movie. I, I don't remember what it's called, but... Oh, what is it called? Uh, A Quiet Place? or I don't remember. It's the movie where they have to not make noise or these things will basically kill them. I don't remember what the movie is called, though. And never forget that they can hear you. Jesus Christ. Hey, my little ponies. I'm sorry for not posting recently. I've been feeling sick. I don't need to read all this. I, I think I've already seen this before because I was on her page a little bit. By the way, I hope you are feeling better. I know it was earlier at the beginning of the year you made this. I'm glad you're hopefully feeling better. Decided to post another part. Feeling a little better. So this must be the next part. So let's find out here what we got here. Uh, flashback. Sister. Princess Luna is losing sanity. She's wondering where her sister is. She must find her. She has bloodshot eyes. Her sanity is getting a little lower, but she overall appears to be in good health. Princess Cadence is mentally unstable and badly injured. I'm assuming Shining Armor is the one who injured her. Yep, look at that on the bottom. Wounds from escaping Shining Armor. So Shining Armor got infected. I bet he's on here. I'm already looking at the comment now. Look at that. Shining Armor made me scream. I bet he's here too. And he bit looks pretty fucked up. I bet he does. But her sanity is getting low, probably because the love of her life just fucking attacked her and attempted to kill her. Her health is getting lower. Her strength is still pretty high. And her stress is getting high, too. Let's see it. Okay, that's Bab's seed. Slightly injured, but they also have... I don't know if that's a type of drink or not. I can't really see because I have terrible vision. Hold on, let me pull out the glasses. That did nothing for me. 
Anyway, they also got a broken bottle as a weapon. They have a medical mask and an open wound, but it's bandaged up. They overall look to be in pretty good health. The strength is getting a little low, but the overall look appear to be in good health. Yeah. I see Nat come. Oh no. He infected his fucking baby. Holy shit. Third stage infectin. Infectin. I can't talk. Third stage infection. Horn broke while trying to use it. God damn. That's just depressing to look at. He's pretty much fucked. Flurry heart. Status is dead. That's the baby. Couldn't handle the infection. Blurred due to discomfort. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Good job blurring that out. Because I do not want to see that. Coloratura, rara. Status is dead, caused by the final stage infection. Died 53 miles away from Equestria to infect no one before dying. So she went to go try to keep everyone from being, like, infected further. DJ Pond 3 is also infected, but missing. There's no info on her, and she was last seen in Ponyville. Celestia is also missing. Cadence, Luna, I'm glad you're okay. That's good. What do we got here? What is happening? Why can't I see? Why can't I hear? Why can't I talk? My body hurts. It feels like I'm rotting. Rainbow Dash? What is wrong with me? I'm guessing that's Rarity. I assume it might be Rarity. Look at the comment. It might be Rarity or Scootaloo. Oh, it could be Scootaloo. That's a good point. Another part. I'm sorry, Rainbow Dash, but Scootaloo didn't make it. So that was probably Scootaloo in the last one. Rainbow Dash is healthy but tired. I'm sorry I couldn't protect you all. She has a broken wing and she misses Scootaloo. But she overall appears to be in good health, and she's resting at the shelter. Applejack is traumatized. Had an encounter with Rarity. She didn't look the same anymore. She overall looks to, pee, looks to be in good health. But her sanity is deteriorating. And her stress is raising a little bit. But she appears to be okay. Pinkie Pie is found sick. She appears to be in good health. Sanity is high. Health is high. Strength is high. Stress is low. Hunger is getting there, but it's fine. She has eye bags and slight pale skin. So Pinkie is, appears to be okay. Damn. Infected Diamond Tiara, and I forgot her name. Keep in mind, I'm still working on the series because I just started watching it at the end of 2023. And I know I said in that video where I played Ad Party that I started watching it this year. No, it was technically the end of 2023, and I've had a lot going on, so I haven't been able to watch all the time. So I don't know every pony. Just bear with me. Just let me know what their name is in the comments. I know some of you might. But third stage infection pretty fucked up. That's a scary design, too. That looks absolutely fucked. Oh. Fluttershy is gone. As expected from the first slide we saw her on. Holy shit! Twilight Sparkle is dead as fuck! And she reached the sixth stage. But I thought the fifth stage was the final stage. Or maybe the sixth stage is just the pony dies. So Twilight's dead. She's pretty damn dead. I That's... No. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I like you. You're cool. Your story is fucking amazing. But we're looking for episodes... Of the Black Tree Disease. Where is more? Let's see. The Black Potion of Equestria. Does this have to do with it? What? Basically, Princess Celestia was tired and asked Twilight to make a potion, but Twilight accidentally made the disease and gave it to... Oh, this does have to do with it. Okay. So let's read this. This is probably very important. The Black Potion of Equestria. Once upon a time, there were four princesses. Princess Celestia, 
Cel I can't talk. Ah, I hate my life. Princess Celestia, Princess Luna, Princess Cadence, and Princess Twilight Sparkle. Princess Celestia was the ruler of Equestria and Sun. Princess Luna was also the ruler of Equestria, but also of the moon. Princess Cadence was the ruler of the Crystal Empire. And Princess Twilight was the princess of friendship. All princesses were happy and taking responsibilities for their work and making every pony happy. Everything was so perfect until something went wrong. Until one day, Princess Celestia was overworked due to the responsibilities she had to do. She was exhausted and tired. She wanted to sleep, but every pony in Equestria wanted to see her every day, even night. She was one day so tired that she wasn't even able to make the sun rise. Princess Luna was worried. God damn it. Stop it. Ugh. Sorry, guys. I'm fucking up. I'm really fucking up right now. Later on, Princess Twilight Sparkle came to visit the Canterlot a few weeks after. She heard about Celestia's conditions. She said, Princess Celestia, take a rest. You look very tired. Can I help somehow? Princess Celestia smiled at Twilight and answered, You actually can. Make a potion to keep me awake and energized. I can do that, Princess. I won't disappoint you. Princess Celestia, or Princess Twilight, smiled and ran off to make the potion in an instant. Princess Celestia decided to wait a little bit and relax for a few hours until Twilight was done trying or creating the potion. After Twilight was done with the potion and gave it to Celestia, she decided to disappear three days before coming back. Princess Luna and every guard in Canterlot was searching for her and she was nowhere to be seen. After the third day, she came back, but looked different. She looked like she was more than happier and in, in a horrible condition. Her hair stopped floating due to loss of magic, and she looked tired. Princess Luna was very worried. Sister, what happened to you? You look horrible. Princess Celestia answered, I feel better than ever, sister. I feel my skin itching. I can feel my lungs being torn apart. Everything hurts, but it also feels relieving. Oh, it's killing her. Princess Celestia has been missing for four weeks now. Wherever she is... She might be one of them. She's one of us. Wow. Holy shit. So it all happened. The whole thing about the black tree virus happened. Because Celestia was overworked, very tired. And she requested that Twilight make a potion to keep her energized and keep her going. Twilight ended up failing, creating something bad. And it gave Celestia and Twilight the infection, I assume. Anyway, we got with Luna and Cadence. There's only one pony left who can really help us. Sometime later. I knew you two would come for a visit. Do you really think I was the one who started all this? Queen Chrysalis is healthy, but mad. I lost my kingdom. All my changelings are gone. Teaming up with Luna and Cadence. Hey, she became good to help out with this. That's awesome. Cadence is depressed. She appears to be in decent health, though. Luna is also quite stressed, but in good, in good health and she's very strong. I lost everything because of you ponies. We have done nothing. Then look at my changelings. They are not the same anymore. What the fuck? The status has mutated. Very aggressive. Very... A little dos... A little bit less docile than aggressive. Strength is 80%. Their immune systems are handling the infection more different. Holy fuck. The changelings have a way different reaction than a normal pony. The virus spreads like... At a normal pony, but the roots turn into hardened like branches. It's almost impossible to beat the muta mutated changelings. Even ponies can have that, but it's rare. The changelings have the same symptoms, but only three stages. The mutation holds on for more than two months. It takes them for them to die. We sadly haven't studied the mutation fully yet, but we will try our best to find it out soon as possible before we are not defensive against them. Wow. I'll be damned. That's pretty flipping wild if you ask me we're getting close to the end though we're getting close as i said i will never eat this thing any pony alive 
When amputating a part of the body, the nurse is stunning the infection. Part of the body not causing any pain or panic for the pony. Once the part is fully stunned, they amputate the part before the infection spreads further. After the amputation successfully worked, the pony has to rest for at least one month before they can move again. They get medicine like painkillers and or carisoprodol. carisoprodol. After one month, the pony is ready to move or walk again. When the amputation failed and the pony is still infected, they kick the pony out of the shelter or kill the pony like stabbing into the heart or decapitate the head because those are the weak spots of an infected pony. And you know you can't save them. Just like you can't save your daughter, Cadence. Damn! God damn. She's gone just like your husband. She's gone. What the fuck? That got dark. That was like some really dark stabs at Princess Cadence. Jesus Christ. Yeah, look at that. Bro's just roast roasting Cadence. What the fuck? I'm fine, see? This is the one I remember seeing. Starlight. Starlight Glimmer is at the early infection stage, but she's going crazy. Her sanity is getting very low. She appears to be in decent health, though. And she's very stressed out, or uh, getting there. She got infected by stepping on an infected plant while having open wounds. Yikes. Trixie, Lulumoon, is stressed. She was my only friend. Stressed because Starlight got infected. This is all my fault. I feel like I can't play that music. Sunset Simmer is shocked. I'm so sorry, Trixie. Don't worry, I'm there for you. But she appears to be in pretty good health, too. She ran away with Trixie from Starlight. Sweetie Belle, Apple Bloom, and Bab Seed are all healthy. They all arrived at the shelter without any harm. Flora de Lis, I think that's how you say that, is recovering. I'm glad I'm okay. So that's her name, Flora de Lis, or something like that. Her sanity is high, her health is decent. Her strength is quite high, and she looks to be quite healthy overall. Nurse Redheart amputated her leg so the infection wouldn't spread. Diamond Tiara, although on the other hand, is dead. She could not handle the infection. Found 10 miles away from Equestria, a whole body co is covered in roots. No body parts to be seen. And this is them within the um, area that they're going to. I already forgot the fucking name of it. Hold on. Uh, shelter, yeah. They're all within the little safe shelter area. Yeah. With Trixie and Sunset. Trixie, look, I'm so sorry you lost your friend. Trixie's horn is damaged because she overused her powers. Are you kidding me, Sunset? She was more than a friend. We did spend time with each other all in that day until night. We were very close, closer than any other pony in Equestria. And it was way more than just friendship. And now she's gone in that for nothing. And whoever started this mess, they will be sorry once I catch them. Ooh, let's go, Trixie. Let's go, Trixie's gonna be the one to stop it. I don't know, probably not. I don't know. But Trixie's clearly quite upset and I, I don't blame her one bit. Okay. Flashback, you get back in the shelter this instant. No, I want to find Lyra, screw the shelter. Lyra, Lyra, where are you? I have to find her, she must still be alive. Lyra? Uh oh, she's, that's bad. No, 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 Lyra. Oh man. Bon Bon, I will promise you I will stay with you until the end. But when I die, you promise me one thing. Please stay alive for me, okay? I promise. I'm sorry I broke your promise, Lyra. I just want to see you again. That, that <laughs> that's that's sad. That's really sad. I get it. She loves her to death. That's it's heartbreaking. Aren't they like married canonically too? That's so that's depressing. That kind of got my mood go to moved a little bit. That's sad. That's really sad. Fuck you for making me feel sad. Why? <laughs> All right, here we go. I wouldn't mind. He is we. Oh, um, should I do it just to say fuck it? Make the copyright like come to the channel for this one time? Fuck it, we're doing it. I don't care.
That's sad. Honestly, if I was Trixie and I knew Starlight was suffering, what I would do personally is I wouldn't give a fuck. I would just go die to the virus and just be with her until the end. But that's that's if my heart was telling me to stick by the one I love. But this is um, the Black Tree Virus. What a story. What a story. This is why y'all were recommended it to me. Because one, the designs are insane. The infected Scootaloo, infected Twilight, infected Fluttershy, especially infected Shining Armor. That's pretty fucking dark. They looked grotesque. Not only that, Flurry Heart getting killed like that is so sad. The separation of partners like Lyra and Bon Bon and uh, Trixie and Starlight. That's sad, man. This shit breaks my heart. But it's all good. This was an amazing flipping story. I'm really glad I got around to this one. And I'm really looking forward to more coming out because there better be more. I'm just saying I would be really happy if there was. But only time will tell. Only time will tell. And we don't know what the creator of the story is going through. So we just got to be patient, you know. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you did. Dislike if you didn't. It's completely fine. I don't really mind it either way. And I will link this in the description for everyone to go read for themselves as well. So thanks for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.